to Heinz's Garage. Uh, this is my Honda S2000 AP2. It's a 2006 model and this beautiful is in a blue pearl paint. Absolutely love this color. Uh, in fact, my dad owns the exact same car, 2006 with in a blue pearl. And uh, ever since he got it, I drove it a lot and just loved it. Loved the feel of the car. In fact, uh, when I got this car though, I was actually not looking at S2000s. I was looking at your WRX STI, your WRX, uh, your uh, M3 E46. I was looking at even the Volvo S60R. I was looking at the Legacy GT, um, more preferably like in the Spec B variant of that. Um, so yeah, so I was looking at more sedans and then I came across this S2000, great shape, low miles, 30,000 miles. And uh, once I test drove it, I just, I had to have this car. So. Uh, with that, I'll show you a little bit about the car, what I've done to it so far over the years. Um, this has seen an, uh, a number of track days uh, from myself and uh, while I was out in Utah and I raced it at uh, Utah Motor Campus, uh, formerly known as uh, Miller Motorsports Park. Great, great car on the track. Uh, since moving out to California, I haven't had the opportunity to take out to the track, uh, but hope to hope get some track days in, uh, hopefully next year. We'll see what happens though. Uh, but give you a little idea of some of the things that I've done in the car. Most importantly, right here, if you can see, we had the clear side marker. Uh, one of the first modifications that I ever did to the vehicle. Uh, very cheap modification, really improves the look of the car. Easily five horsepower. Um, right here, what we have is we have shoes. Uh, the shoes are the RPF1, also known as the uh, AP2 V4. If everyone gets them. They are 17 by nine plus 45 uh, with the offset. They are wrapped in a very sticky Nitto NT01 and a 245 width tire and it's squared around the entire car. I did go 245 because of the class that I was in. I was doing NASA um, and I was racing in the TTC uh, time trials uh, for that. And if I went to a 245, it would have moved me up out of the class. So I went with the 245 tire for this huge sidewall. Don't ever do that. This is just a bad idea. Um, I you know, had to actually kind of raise the car up a little bit um, so I don't ruin the fenders anymore. This fender looks okay um, with it with it, uh, rolled and a little bit pulled. Um, the other side does have a little nick and uh, hopefully in a video in the future we will go repair that. Um, but uh, still very good, very light wheel. Um, happy with it. Um, other downsides though, if you do upgrade to a big brake kit, um, you can't really use the RPF1. Uh, a lot of people will go to a 17 by 8 RPF one um, because of the concave shape uh, of the spokes there. Makes it so it clears the big brake kit. But uh, in this case, I don't have a big brake kit. Um, I do have stock brakes on the car right now. I do have a racing setup uh, as far as the brake pads are concerned. Uh, but I do also, uh, really one of the first ones I did for the track was a stainless steel brake line. On the, underneath the hood, uh, stock engine, uh, the only thing that's changed is a k and uh, intake, um, no real horsepower gains, just really a, a, a throw to your sound with the intake. Um, on the exhaust, we're looking at a titanium uh, Amuse R uh, R1 Titan exhaust, single uh, exit exhaust. It's about a nine pound exhaust, I bought it off a guy um, down, in, down in Texas and uh, it was uh, probably the best decision I made. Uh, I, I watched so many videos of exhaust and I do have a video uh, in regards to the exhaust and uh, watched so many videos and to me the Muse R1 Titan was the single best sounding exhaust. Now others might look at the J's or the Tomi, Tomi, I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, and also a lot of people just go with the Buddy Club Spec 2, great exhaust, uh, but uh, to me, you save a ton of weight and uh, that titanium finish is just, just amazing. Um, interior wise, uh, we've got it set up with Sparco bucket racing seat and also uh, on the top for the roof, we still have the stock uh, soft top. Um, I've kept that in and I'm glad that I have, although that being said, there is a hole in it, so we'll see that a little bit later. Um, but I do have a, a carbon fiber uh, replica um, of the OEM top, it was really, really hard to find an OEM Laguna Blue Pearl top, uh, and uh, everyone was trying to sell them for four thousand dollars or so around the U.S. And uh, my uh, my dad on his his S two thousand, he's got a, a hard top, uh, an OEM one, and I decided that uh, save some weight, go with the the carbon. Also, the carbon looks pretty sweet. 
uh, with the top uh, blocking here is uh, our uh, APR GT3 mirrors. Uh, these have seen better days. I don't know what's happened. Um, you know, I, I think maybe just a new clear coat needs to go over them, but some of the, uh, the carbon's kind of dried up and it, it's chipping off the, the mirror. So definitely seen better days. I might just go back to the stock mirrors uh, to get kind of that, that cleaner look. Although when you get the carbon top on and it's all black here and you got the carbon top here, um, it looks pretty sweet. So uh, that being said, uh, we will uh, show you around the car. Uh, definitely um, going to do a full detail video um, of the vehicle. It needs a lot of work there. Uh, needs a lot of work on the fenders. And um, yeah, so that's it. That's the S2000.